Hi, my name is Tracy Pepe. Welcome to my YouTube channel on what to do with essential oils. I really appreciate this subscription and people who are following. And for those of you who are new to my channel, welcome. Um, I would appreciate it if you could hit the subscription button. It helps the channel. Um, as well as send me your questions. Let me know what you're thinking. We all know with the pandemic, uh, the COVID-19 <laughs> response, we're all at home and we're all trying to adapt and come up with some really interesting ideas. This is my superpower, sharing 25 years of knowledge that I have obtained on essential oil use. I have a little shop in downtown Brampton called The Scented Lair, as well as I have a second location at Toronto Pearson International Airport. I've been uh, scenting hotels and condos for a very long time, so it's my pleasure to share with you my information. Um, I'm going to work through with some really interesting, we're working on a new series, and I'm going to work through four actual live training sessions that we're going to have each week. I uh, recommend you go to Eventbrite to sign up. We will be talking about um, these classes in particular and how to expand on them, giving you a more question and answer opportunity and to discuss. So today's topic is um, kind of an interesting one because it's controlling the cravings. How many of us are at home and we want to bake? And so that's a great creative idea. And we're making lots of fat, fattening foods or comfort foods. And we're going into the kitchen or our offices are in the dining room. I'm here in my living room. <laughs> we make ships, uh, shape, we, we create things to kind of deal with the situation. And there's a bowl of potato chips around the corner, or we know that the fridge has just been fully stocked. So what do we do? How do we crave the cravings? We all have different cravings and there's a whole bunch of psychology on why we have those certain cravings. But the one thing that I know for sure is when your mind is busy at work, you focus on other things at hand. And it's especially a good technique when you're dealing with uh, stress and anxiety and uncertainty. I have been working with the architectural traits for incredible amounts of time. In fact, the last 10 years, I have been giving a class in scent design to uh, basically the industry across the globe on what to do with scent. And one of the things we start off with is we start smelling various different oils, various different things, um, herbs. If you don't have essential oils, this is a class or this is an actual um, video on just scent and scent design. You can work with all types of different scents. So teas, um, flowers, uh, herbs, cooking, spices, and obviously essential oils. But what you do with essential oils is you are you start to, you get about 10. 10 is a really good number to start with. Otherwise, past 10, your brain gets to a point where it can't take it any longer. You can get one mil. You don't have to actually um, get um, a full 10 amount. Even candles. Say you have scented candles or tea lights, inexpensive things that you've, you've had. Look around your home. I really want to encourage people not to go buy things, but I want you to encourage to what you have. So take the 10 cents and set them up across. And I actually, if you look in my video into the corner, I have a a tray that I have a whole bunch of essential oils on and I have a diffuser and I use that as part of my creativity. I'm in the process of writing a book and I'm in the process of coming up with content for the YouTube channel and changing my work and changing everything I do. This is not a new thing for me at all. So I appreciate all the positive feedback and I'm getting better. I think the drop back is so much nicer. Um, trying different things. That's all you can do in this situation. So back to craving, uh, controlling cravings. Controlling cravings is about structuring uh, 10 cents in particular. 10 is a good number to max out on. Put them on a tray or have them available. And a pen and paper is really helpful. And start smelling them. And I don't know if you know how to smell, and I'm not being condescending when I say that, but a lot of people have never been taught to smell. So the idea is, is you wave the scent. If you have a scent stick, that's great. If you're waving, that's better. Put it on a tissue. So what that means is you're just getting a little bit of the scent. 
wave it across the nose. You breathe in through the nose and out through the mouth. And by doing that, what you're doing, if you close your eyes, you can really focus on the scent and you start to create a scent memory. And this particular one is Ylang Ylang Extra, it comes in from Madagascar. It's a heavy white floral. Um, it's uh, big, it's got a, a very bold scent. It's an incredibly creative. And what you do is you smell and you write the scent down. Say it's Earl Grey tea and you smell it and you start talking about what it reminds you of and you start creating your vocabulary. Scent vocabulary is very challenging. It's not consistent, it's not across industries. So you just start writing and creating a description regarding this. Second time you go through and you'd go up to about 10. I guarantee you by the time you get to 10, whatever you were craving, you're not gonna crave it anymore. And the reason for that is your brain is turning on the synapses of another part of your brain, which is causing scent memories, which is causing you to focus, which is a really interesting part. And all of that will help you if you are in the stage where you don't know what to write about or you haven't kind of got to the point where you know what content this is a great exercise and it's really interesting if you have the opportunity to speak to people uh, if you do this with a girlfriend and a friend and you have 10 and they have 10 and you share and you talk and what's going to happen is this is an incredible exercise to help people get through the control controlling the cravings, but also stimulating creativity. My name is Tracy Pepe. Thanks very much for watching. I look forward to joining you on the live weekly sessions. Check out Eventbrite, register, and we have people all over the world. It's quite a fun class. People click in, some are on video, some just listen, some participate, some send me your questions. I'm here for you and anything I can help you with on all the wonderful things to do with essential oils, smell, and sentiness space. Thanks again.